People are familiar with ultrasound for diagnostic imaging, but already 50 or 60 years ago, researchers discovered that uh, ultrasound can be used for therapeutic purposes by focusing it into the body on a desired target, like a tumor. And this is very similar to the effect that we see with a magnifying glass concentrating the sun rays into paper or wood and burning it. So in the focus of the ultrasound beam, we can get uh, temperature elevating and basically coagulate the tissue. InsightTech device is designed to treat soft tissue targets, which could be tumors, benign or cancerous, or if, if you take the brain, for example, it could be targets in the central nervous system uh, that correspond to functional disorders like Parkinson, like essential tremor, like neuropathic pain. The first indication that InsightTech uh, decided to take to market is a benign tumor of the uterus called uterine fibroid. It's very prevalent with women from age of 35 and on. And the current treatment is basically hysterectomy, removing of the uterus. And what this treatment allows is outpatient treatment that preserves fertility. The second treatment that was recently approved by the FDA is palliating pain due to cancer metastasis. Metastasis are late stage cancer disease. The prognosis is very poor. It's a major loss of quality of life. And the treatment with focused ultrasound get rid of the pain very effectively within 24 to 48 hours. And it's durable for many months. I'm a graduate of the Technion. I graduated in 73 and in 83 uh, I received my PhD again from the Technion, both in uh, aeronautical engineering. And since then I've been sort of midway between research and industry. Two years ago when I realized that I'm approaching my 60th birthday, my third age if you like, I decided that I need to take a sabbatical, a time off. Technion is a good place to do it. And I came up with the idea of introducing more and more autonomy into surgical procedures in order to improve the quality and the safety of those procedures. 100,000 people dying from various medical errors in a year. This is a huge number and it must be improved. This is really coming from my aeronautical background and comparing surgeons with pilots 100 years ago. Both used to operate their machine using their hands directly. And when you look at pilots today, airplanes could fly autonomously from takeoff to touchdown without human intervention. And I foresee the same trend going into medicine, removing burden from the physician and let the machine do all those tasks more accurately and safely. The Technion is uniquely positioned in terms of the breadth of engineering faculty, the science that is being done here, and the medical school to be a point of integration. So I've been building uh, such a network of people who are interested to contribute to the realization of such a dream. The idea here is to tighten the collaboration with the industry, to promote the development of novel devices. It's important to know that about 50% of the startup around Haifa are in the biomedical field. And my vision for the Technion is to see it as a leading institute in this future of autonomous medical systems and for society and patients in general to be able to walk in and out of the operating room of the future safely and return to their normal daily routine immediately without negative consequences of the medical intervention.